Hey everybody, Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we're going to go over the Huawei AM10 Bluetooth speaker. This uh, retailed when it first came out about a year and a half ago for $99.99. Uh, you can pick it up on Amazon now. They've actually dropped the price to about $30. Uh, and I don't know if that's because they weren't selling well or not. We found this to be a very quality quality Bluetooth speaker, especially for the $30 price point. I will put a link on uh, the Amazon link down there so that you guys can check it out for yourself. But at a $30 price point, this is almost a no-brainer unless you're looking for a waterproof speaker. This is not a waterproof speaker. Uh, let's bust it open and I'll show you guys what comes inside. It has like a plexi backing to it that you can pull off and inside you do have a user manual which we'll look into in a second it is in many different languages here including English of course uh, inside they give you a, an aux cable so that if you do have a non Bluetooth device and you want to do uh, plug to plug there you can do that because the Bluetooth speaker has a line in port on it they give you a lanyard that you can hook up to the speaker in case you're carrying it you know, on a trip or something like that, uh, camping or out and about, and you want to have a lanyard on it. I'm not a big fan of lanyards myself. And they give you a USB to micro USB cable that you can use to charge the speaker itself. Now, once we pull the speaker out here, you'll be able to see some of the ports and some of the buttons. Uh, it has a rubberized finish on the outside. Let me put this down for a second, get this out of the way. It does have a rubberized finish on it. Uh, I've got one in blue. They do come in other colors such as white and I believe there's another color that I'm missing but I'm not quite sure. I know there is a white colored one. They do not make a black one. Uh, and again on the bottom it says that this is the model AM10S is the, this one. The input on it is a 5 volt 1 amp so you can pretty much use any uh, charger, um, any old phone charger that you have to charge this guy up. They do give you a micro USB cable but they do not give you a wall charger with this. That's okay. Uh, looking at the top of the device itself, there are some buttons on this rubberized texture. There is a pause and play button, which also acts as your uh, call and hang up button as well. Uh, very clicky. You can hear the nice press of that so that you know you did press the button. I like that. Uh, there is a forward and back, I'm sorry, a forward and back track button here for your music so you can control that and a volume decrease and increase button. So basically uh, from the speaker itself you can pretty much control everything right from the top. You don't have to do anything on the phone other than pair it or on the tablet or whatever you're connecting to it. Once it's connected and you're playing whatever you're playing you can pretty much control it all from here. On the left side, we do have a uh, power indicator here. This will light up some LEDs to let you know whether you have 25, uh, you know, uh, 50%, 75, or 100% battery on these LEDs. There is your power button in the middle. This is a spot for your lanyard. This is the mode uh, button as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of recessed in. Uh, there is a mode for uh, Bluetooth, uh, micro SD, and an aux button. Uh, and our mode and that aux mode is so that on this side if you just want to put a line in you can do that here here's the charging port and there is a dedicated micro SD card slot so if you just wanted to load a bunch of music up on an SD card slot and play it right off the speaker you can do that so what we will do first is we will turn it on and a really cool thing about the speaker is it does speak to you uh, when you turn it on and when you're pairing and doing certain things. So we will turn it on. Power on. And Reaching for pairing. Power on and waiting for pairing, it says. Now the mode right now is blinking in Bluetooth mode so that we can pair it with a phone. If I want to see how much uh, battery life I have left, I can push this button right Connected. here. And it will tell me that I have 100% battery life or close to 100% battery life. Now it is connected because we did pair it before with our uh, Note 4. So I do have a Note 4 here that I will play a couple tracks on and show you guys. We'll go take a look at Bluetooth to make sure that it is in there. And there it is. The Huawei AM10 is connected to phone and media audio. Again, you can take phone calls on this. Uh, we did test it and the phone sounded great on both sides, the people that we were talking to, and we heard them very well as well. 
Uh, again, this is both a five hour either talk or play time. Uh, we got close to five hours out of it before we had to recharge it. So that's good that they, they were pretty close to the, to the mark there. Uh, let us see. We will play just to give you guys a couple sound samples here. Uh, I will give you a, oh, whoops, I'll give you a dubstep sound here. As you can tell, the bass is, well, I don't know if you guys can tell, but from here, the bass is really, really good. Um, you can feel it on the table that it was sitting on. Uh, so these speakers uh, are putting out really, really, really good bass sound. Uh, I will try another song that doesn't have as much bass here. And... As you can see, the speaker gets incredibly loud. I got to the point where it would not go any louder and it beeped on me, um, but we were only at 12 out of 15 on the phone, so it could have gotten a little bit louder than that even. Uh, so the, the, the speakers in this are very good quality speakers. Uh, there is a good bass range in this. Uh, even for songs that don't have a lot of bass, you get to hear that background bass in there, uh, no problem. And uh, we had no problems hearing things, no static, no uh, anything really on this guy. The rubber finish is great for if you want to set it up somewhere, it's not going to move around on you. Again, this is not a waterproof speaker, so if you do want to get a waterproof speaker, this will not be uh, the speaker for you. Uh, you can hear uh, the sound comes out of both sides, so it's not like you have to have it pointed in one direction or the other. Uh, we found that both the sides had uh, equal sound on both sides and they sounded just as good. So that is excellent as well. Uh, again, uh, something at a $30 now price point that came down from $99, I think uh, like it was uh, a year and a half ago. This is a very solid speaker. It's a little bit weighty. Uh, so if you don't like a lot of weight, you might not like this one, but uh, we like it. It feels solid. And uh, you can't go wrong for a $30 price point. Again, this was a quick overview of the Huawei AM10S Bluetooth speaker. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will get back to you. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video.